If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. I've seen some other bigger GTA Online YouTubers complaining about this problem, and rightfully so, about the max number of CEO or MC presidents in GTA Online sessions. I myself are going to be one of these people that are going to complain about it. Everyone has to deal with it, but it is especially bad on next gen because everyone is given a free business. Before, if you were a brand new player, you had to start from nothing, no business, no CEO, no VIP or anything, or even if those options were available to you, you usually didn't do it because you didn't have any bunker supplies to sell or just anything to sell in general, really. It really got me thinking about how far GTA Online has come in becoming less and less of an online focused game, even with the GTA Online. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I mean, if you really think about it, the more and more GTA Online progresses, the more and more you're likely to be playing it alone. Whether it be from your friends or people that you uh, play your games with, less and less of them want to play the 10 year old game GT Online because they've already done anything, they already have everything. But no, in a, in a sense that if your CEO is maxed out, you're going, ah, okay, whatever. Now I have to go to another online session and then even have the possibility of dealing with it again and join another online session. But the easiest way and the most you know guaranteed way to not deal with this problem is to play in solo sessions or solo public lobbies. There's plenty of ways you can get into solo public lobbies. You can mess with your internet settings, or you know, there's probably dozens of YouTube tutorials to do it. I could do one myself, which I've actually been thinking about doing. So if you guys want to know how to join solo public lobbies, at least on PS5 next gen, you could probably do the same on Xbox. You just mess with your MTU settings within your network, um, advanced settings. It's really easy to do, and it works really, really well. I myself, for the better part of probably like five, four, five, six years, have been playing GTA Online mostly by myself. Whenever I'm on with my friends, we specifically just mess around. I don't force them or make them force me to do any business stuff because that's just boring for them. No one wants to do that, I, and I don't blame them. But when I'm by myself playing GTA, I'm mostly doing business stuff just by myself. So the easiest way for me to do that is going in the solo public lobbies. Not only do I not have to deal with the CEO max number, or MC business max number of people, even though Rockstar could just simply add, you know, a few more colors to the CEO and MC president uh, loadout into the sessions, you know, and just make that way easier, add a higher amount of max numbers of CEOs and MC presidents. But uh, if they haven't done it yet, then I probably doubt they're going to do it at all. But the big, big reason why I joined the solo public lobbies to do business is just so I don't have to deal with griefers. If you guys have been stopping by my streams, you know that I'm in solo public lobbies because I don't have to deal with griefers. And if you're a brand new player, you know, that's a really good idea because you don't have an oppressor yet or you don't have a Hydra. I've been specifically streaming, of course, starting out at level one on a brand new account. So I'm only like level 30 and I only have like $2 million. I don't have much of anything yet to defend myself. So if I don't have anything to defend myself, Myself, and I don't want to deal with the max number of CEOs, why would I join these public lobbies filled with people that are just going to be dickheads, you know? Well, for, for the most part, you know, there are some good people out there, but for the most, for, for some part, you know, there's going to be those douchebags. It takes one person to just have one one problem in their life to just ruin, ruin your entire day because they just, I don't know, whatever. But before, like I said, GT Online is becoming less and less of an actual online game, or at least a game that you want to experience online. Even GT Online is better, way better to do solo or within private sessions than to deal with public lobbies because of just how much shit is available to ruin people's days and to ruin people's supplies and sale missions and stuff like that. 
I'm no super advanced programmer or game developer, but with the billions and billions of dollars Rockstar is worth and take to Interactive, I bet they could fix this problem within an afternoon or within a day or two. Just, you know, kind of change a number from however the max CEOs are right now and just make that number maybe a little bit bigger by like four to six or just, you know, make it so everyone could be a CEO or MC president. After all, I mean, if everyone's a CEO or MC president, then they'll be dealing with their own supplies and everyone will be doing their own thing and not be, you know, griefing and not having a reason to do anything at all. Or, of course, just allow you to do these supply missions and sale missions just in private sessions, in friends-only sessions, and make the bonuses for doing them in public sessions bigger. Maybe if you're stealing supplies in a public session, you get double, or when you're doing a sale mission, you get double instead of like this little 10 or 20% difference in doing it in a public session versus losing it all you know doing it in a public session it's not worth it rockstar should reward or just make it more readily available to want to do these sale missions and supply missions in public sessions whether it be the griefers dealing dealing with the griefers or you know just making the ceo or mc presidents not having a max number of those I know people back in the day had needed four people for pack standard. You needed four people to do a heist or to do these big sale missions and it would get annoying needing all four of these people and doing some of the stuff solo like KO Perico is really fun. It's really easy. You don't have to rely on anyone. You can just do it on your own while you're waiting for your friends to get online or while you're waiting for or if you have no friends like myself like myself. I'm kidding, of course, but you know, doing some of these stuff solo is fun. I like having that option available, but doing everything cooperatively and online is useless nowadays. Back in the day, Pack Standard was the best way to make money, hands down, by far. And then they added the crate business, where, yeah, that's a great way to make money, but only one person can make that money out of however many friends are helping you do it. That's one thing Red Dead Online did better than GTA Online is making it so your partners that are doing these sale missions with you get a pretty big amount of money as well. They'll get like, I, I think 50% of some of the profits that you earn. And that doesn't come out of the owner's pocket or the person doing the sale missions pocket. That is just random money pulling, uh, pulled out of the sky, just given to the player that helped you. And it, it makes a lot more sense doing that, but I understand that G Rockstar probably doesn't want to do that for GTA Online because the more frustrating it is, the more likely you're buying a shark card and more likely you're going to get an oppressor mark too, and more likely you're just going to go into a solo public session. Well, I ranted for long enough. I'm curious what you guys think, so let me know down below the comment. Um, stop by one of the streams one of these days, maybe become a member. I have been streaming quite often. I'm trying to aim for like two or three times a week, so if you're interested in that, drop a sub, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.